So my house is a disaster. I have people coming over. And what am I doing? I'm putting on a light layer of makeup. <laughs> Don't know why. Um, my husband got me this thing way back for I think my birthday or Christmas. I haven't been recording for YouTube. So I'm finally not dying from pregnancy. Still pregnant, just over the real bad stuff, which I'll get into in another video. But um, <laughs> I was gonna try and use this like a selfie stick. Apparently it's Bluetooth. Apparently it charges or has a battery. It charges, see there's a thing. I'm gonna have to have him show me how to use this. He used it and he used up most of my battery. Oh, oh maybe he did it. Guys, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm definitely gonna have to have him show me how to use this because I'm looking at it and I think it just died. So maybe it is dead. I thought all three lit up. I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch this. Anyways, um, someone just texted me and said that they're on their way to pick up something from Facebook Marketplace. Actually, someone I know though. Um, so I need to go clean up my house. I don't think they're really gonna like come in, come in, but um, it's pretty bad. It's not that bad. You wanna see it? Why am I gonna show you? But I'm gonna do it because I am all about real life. So here's some real life. Should really be checking the um, notification that I just got, but I'm pretty sure I already know what it is. So it doesn't look that bad, but my floor does need to be swept and mopped. I doubt I'll have time to do all that, but, and then my kitchen, who oh, is bad. I made cinnamon rolls this morning. Yeah, it's a mess. Okay, so I haven't made much progress at all. Um, I got my kitchen cleaned up and by cleaned up, I mean I put everything in the sink and wiped down the counters before I had to change a diaper because my son is three going on four this year in October and he's still not potty trained. And not for lack of me trying, guys, I try. I try hard. Okay, but anyways, after I changed his diaper, he was hungry, and I've been wanting to share with you guys some of the things I've been doing because I have an extremely, extremely picky eater. So I'm crouching down in my kitchen. You are propped up against a butter dish because I am professional like that. Um, I stole this idea from my neighbor. She does this for her toddler, <laughs> and it works. My son will eat, he likes peanut butter and jelly anyway, but he will eat so many more peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. He will eat technically two and a half peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Not like this size, but actual full size sandwiches because really all you're losing with my little cookie cutter is the crust. Mine would eat the crust, but he would only eat maybe half a sandwich before you get bored with it. But anyways, this works. Um, I know this is like a boring plate, I tried putting like pretzels and cheese and other things with it so it looks like a full lunch, but he won't eat like that. He, I guess is like me and likes to eat one thing at a time, focus on one food. So he will eat these little sandwiches and then later on he'll have some pretzels and later on he'll have some cheese and we just take it one step at a time. The other thing is I used to put him on a multivitamin. His doctor agreed with that because he does not eat anything but carbs. Um, he doesn't eat meat, he eats cheese and carbs pretty much. But recently he had a stomach bug where he threw up his little gummy vitamin, so he won't eat them anymore. So I have switched to these. We have the vanilla and the chocolate. They're kind of like Pediasure, but of all the other brands like Pediasure, and I can't think of the other ones, I'm not trying to just like pick on Pediasure, it's just the one that keeps coming to my pregnant brain. <laughs> it's one of the most popular. I did not like their ingredients. Boost by Nestle had what I consider to be the best ingredients. You can look them up online. I mean, they're not great, but they are, in my opinion, better than the others. So, <laughs> and I have on a dress and he just walked up, put his hand right on my behind. <laughs> I was like, oh, um, he wants to see the ingredients. You can see the ingredients. I put it in a straw cup. I get these straw cups from the grocery store. I think it's like $3 for a whole pack of these. I love them because sippy cups get left in cars. They get left at people's houses. They get left outside. And I don't feel bad throwing away like a six pack of, I mean, I don't throw away the whole six pack, but I don't mind throwing away a cup. The only thing is these things are pressurized. You have to put on the lid before the straw, but they don't really leak. So 
these are my favorite and they're inexpensive you guys know i'm cheap so that was just what i want to share with you guys really quick and i'm gonna go set him up with his food and i think i'm gonna eat i don't know if i'm gonna try and clear off the table first or eat first <laughs> regardless i'm going to try and clean some more and eat in case you were wondering this is my lunch so and then i have some cucumbers that may or may not have gone bad. I'll have to check. I may not have cucumbers. But yeah, just a salad pack like these. I keep crinkling this and that's gotta sound great in your speakers. But um, a salad kit like this has been my go-to while I've been pregnant. And so if you can add some chicken or something to it, it's even better, but I don't have time for all that today. I don't know though. I may have some chicken in the refrigerator. I might add some chicken. We shall see, but this is lunch. Okay, nobody asked for an update, but I did have some garlic chicken that I had made, garlic butter chicken. Um, I posted that on my Instagram, a link to that recipe. And that is one thing that I like to do with these salad kits is if I ever make chicken for dinner and I have leftovers, slice it up cold, put it with my salad. Just about any chicken will taste great with your salad. Um, also, I forgot, I always forget to put my Topo Chico's in the refrigerator. They're in my pantry, but that is one of my tips for staying hydrated is drinking Topo Chico because it feels like I'm drinking soda, but I'm drinking water. I'm putting it over ice. Is that a thing? I'm just desperate. It's not the worst. It's not the best. Anyways, I'm going to eat my salad. My Facebook marketplace thing is done with. Um, had a friend come over and pick up a shelf, so that's out of my house. Again, more nesting stuff. Did I already mention that? I'm like in this nesting mode of pregnancy. You guys want to see my bump? There it is. Woo! Just about six months pregnant. Anyways, the stripes are really making it look big, but it is a really big bump compared to my last one. I'm gonna go ahead and eat. I'm getting off topic. <laughs> What is this video? Also, I know I said I'd check back later, but in case you were wondering what kind of fancy camera stand I was using, it's my cookbook and a can of tomato sauce on top of my fruit bowl. <laughs> okay guys, I'm laying down in my room. It's like 4.30. I was starving a little bit earlier, but my husband was still working. We didn't have anything for dinner planned out. So I was hoping to go to the store or something. But I was waiting on him, so I ate the rest of my chocolate-covered strawberries for Mother's Day. And now I'm not hungry, but I know I'll be hungry in like 10 minutes. I have indigestion. My husband came home, we sat and chatted for a little bit, and then... <clears throat> I hear my son is coming. He's trying to rest. What are you doing? Long story short, he just said, let me just go pick up something for dinner, so... We're gonna have macaroni grill. I'm getting the bib and blue salad, <laughs> and uh... I don't know what he's eating. This one's getting mac and cheese. He's been eating all day, guys. All day. Non-stop. Which is really crazy for him because he's not much of an eater. But I'm going to have to end this update. Basically, I came in here to rest, which doesn't look like I'm going to get. And to work on this video. <laughs> Anyways, so I will update you guys later when I am not being attacked by a three-year-old. I came in here to rest, and everyone came in here with me. If that's not the definition of mom life, I don't know what is. I don't know what just happened. I just heard my husband pull up, check the camera, sure enough. He's here, I hear him unlocking the door right now. He could not come sooner because three has been throwing tantrums about everything. He's tired, he skipped a nap, he had a play date. So he's just, it's all the things. He's overly exhausted and I'm overly <laughs> exhausted and we're both hungry. It's just not a good combination. So about to go eat. Daddy saved the day. No, give me the scissors. You're gonna... Dinner? <laughs> Real life, there's mess everywhere. And three is doing arts and crafts while eating dinner. Again, we had a play date, so that cleaning. <laughs> oh, and this is tea that Hubs made. He makes the best sweet tea. He's like, stop filming me while I'm eating. 
It's 7.15 and guys, I'm falling asleep. Like, for real, <laughs> for real, for real, I can barely keep my eyes open. I'm sitting here trying to edit. <sighs> and I'm down for the count. So I've been sitting here editing and trying to stay awake, contemplating, just leaning back and falling asleep. And I just realized I made a list this morning. I got almost everything done on my list except for one thing. Laundry. The reason I put laundry on my list is because I'm falling back behind. I was all caught up. I do real good. I do one load a day. Wash it, dry it, fold it, put it away. I do great. But if I get behind, it's a disaster. So... Easton has no pajamas. Also, I notice I keep calling him three. That's what I call him on Twitter. I don't know. Where, what are the boundaries with kids? I try not to make my videos about him, especially right now with YouTube. But even before that, um, I just want to respect his privacy. You know, he's not old enough to consent um, to whether he wants these things on the internet. But, um, you know, where's the line with his name? And I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting off topic again. The reason I came on here was to say I had a moment of panic when I realized I don't think he has any clean pajamas. And it's 7.30. He needs to go to bed soon. I can't really pull the whole pregnant, tired wife thing with my husband and be like, can you put him to bed? If he has no clean clothes to wear to bed. I mean, he has clean clothes, but not pajamas. So... I need to look and see if I can find some pajamas. Also, if you're wondering what the box on my couch is, it's stuff that I was supposed to sell in a garage sell. My neighbor was supposed to have a garage sell, and at the last minute she didn't. But it was just stuff that I had been pulling aside for a garage sell. And since we had that play date today, I needed to move that. It was sitting by my front door. I feel like I'm going into too much detail. When I'm tired, I overthink everything that comes out of my mouth. But anyways, I needed to move it so the kids didn't get into it. And so I moved it on my couch. So that's what the box of random stuff is. And then I also had somebody else message me about something they had paid for this weekend on Facebook Marketplace. I'm rubbing away my makeup. <laughs> Look at that. That's great. Anyways, um, so I have some stuff set outside. I don't think they've shown up yet, but I also had that in the box. It was a little sailboat I sold for like five bucks, but I think this last week I made around a hundred dollars just selling decor from my son's nursery. He's three and we have not changed his room since his nursery so I decided to go ahead and start doing that with all of my little nesting inclinations that finally kicked in that I need to upgrade his room. So I'm using, sorry, I was like where am I going with all of this? I'm using all the money from his old stuff to buy him new stuff or that the plan. I'm not the best with money, <laughs> but that's the plan. I need to go look for pajamas. Hallelujah. We have pajamas. I know the bottom of this closet looks terrible, but it's because of all of my nesting. I keep reorganizing everything, but to reorganize it, I've been reorganizing this stuff and I have to drag everything out to get this stuff out to organize it. And it just gets tossed in here, which there's a lot of like toys and baby gear that I will be using for next baby that I saved from Easton. So those things don't stack very well. So, and once I have the baby or right before probably my ninth month, I will be pulling all this stuff out anyways. So I'm not that worried about it being kind of junky over there, but this did get a little wonky when I was pulling stuff out recently. <laughs> But anyways, I also, tip, I hang all of his stuff. Oh, I just got a message from the lady who's supposed to pick up the boat. She's like, sorry, can't make it. She asked me to put it outside. Now I gotta go walk outside in the dark and go grab the thing that she bought. Anyways, my pro tip is to hang all the clothes instead of folding any of them because they're just all in view and then I can sort them by t-shirts, shorts, jeans, long sleeve shirts, pajamas, blah, blah, blah. It's just been easier. I don't think I'll be able to do this with new baby. Well, I will 
to an extent I've got to start, I had to start sorting her clothes because a lot of this is her clothes and stuff and it was just way too much. I'll show you that closet, hang on. Okay, lighting's really bad. This is literally just my hall closet, but I've got newborn to zero to three. Yeah, so this is just newborn to zero to three of what I have so far. And then I have like socks and hats. My neighbor gave me a whole bunch of her little girl's clothes because she just had a little girl. And um, this is stuff she's grown out of. So I have, she's given me more than just this, but this is all I can hang for now because there's so much. So it's not all gonna fit in this teeny tiny closet, but it's all sorted. And my plan is to pull it out by age group. Right now, I am being attacked. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I seem distracted is because he's been holding on to my leg. See this really useful gate? <laughs> okay, it's not dark. <laughs> it's still sunny outside. I'm just so tired, I feel like it should be dark outside. Anyways, I put it all the way at the end of my driveway because I have like a courtyard and we have two big vehicles in the driveway and then want to have someone walk all the way up. So, no, 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 no. Easton's trying to take the bag and it's just a delicate little sailboat and he'll end up breaking it and it's already paid for. Also, how has trash not come? It's like eight o'clock at night. Is it only 7.30? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Since it's not as late as it feels, I decided I would sit down and do laundry since I was feeling guilty about that, even though there were plenty of clothes. Um, also, we redid our bedroom with all of the nesting and the eating space for the new baby and all that stuff. And everything got piled up on our dresser. My husband was being sweet and decided to clean off the dresser. And by clean off the dresser, he meant take everything off the dresser. It shouldn't be on the dresser and pile it on the floor, the most difficult place for a woman of my pregnant size to get to. You ready to go to bed? Yeah. Let's go put on pajamas. Easton is down, <laughs> I look ragged. Um, we pick out five books at night and I read some, he reads some, some books he has memorized, some of them are his phonics books. So he knows words like, um, cat, ran, uh, he just started a new one tonight that's called dot. Um, but cat ran has words like cat, sat, man, pan, things like that. And so he's reading those. I always highly suggest what we've been doing for a while which is Progressive Phonics. It is a free phonics website. And like I said, my son's three and he's starting to read. We've been doing this for probably about a year and a half though, because he's not up to the recommended level. We've just been doing review and review and review and he's finally starting to catch on. So we're really getting into more of the curriculum side now and practicing that throughout the day. We have a little word wall and then his little phonics books. But anyways, um, about to get back to laundry. I just found out my husband has to leave super early in the morning for work and he may not be coming home tonight, tomorrow night. He's already home tonight. Um, I'm gonna get back to that laundry and he's in the living room watching some TV and he's gonna do the last little bit of dishes because I did dishes earlier. He's gonna clean off the table for me. I'm gonna get this laundry finished. I said that like seven times, that's my goal. And I'm going to bed. I guess I should do an outro. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with my crazy vlog and my silly little day. This is kind of what a day in the life of me looks like. I totally worded that wrong. I'm so tired. This is a bad time to film an outro. Just to do it separately, but I know I'm not going to do it. So here is something. Thanks for watching, guys.